Long before the invention of matches or the matchstick, people needed something by which they could transfer flame from the open fire to the candle, or even to a pipe or cigar. They would use a sliver of wood or a spiral of wood shaving or rolled up paper. These were called spills in English, the word derived from the Middle English word spile, meaning a short sliver of wood. A special kind of wood plane was also invented, which would turn out spiral wood shavings. A receptacle of some sort was always needed to hold the spills. Early enterprising pottery manufacturers soon caught on to the idea, which resulted in an abundance of these vessels, which we now call spill vases. They came in many forms, shapes and sizes, and there seemed to be no limit to the imagination applied to them. They could be plain in shape, like this early spill holder, or simply just like a flower vase. I guess it was the use that they, they were put to that determined their name. They could be found in all different ceramic types of earthenware, stoneware and porcelain. Several well-known potteries produced some remarkably beautiful spill vases, recognised by their respective styles of decoration. These were mainly in bone china and beautifully enhanced with skilful enamelling. Wedgwood spill vases were produced in the distinctive style of the Wedgwood stonewares, and some were more decorative like these Minton Lily of the Valley spill vases. France and Germany were manufacturing spill vases in abundance in the 19th century. The French liked these elaborately decorated ones with some influence of the Rococo or similar flamboyant designs. The German manufacturers seemed to specialize in bisque porcelain spill vases. Bisque porcelain simply means that the porcelain body has not been glazed, but it may bear an enamel decoration on the bisque surface, as can be seen in some of these vases. And here are three more examples of continental spill vases. This one is French, possibly Sèvres. And this picture shows where the receptacle for the spills is situated. German KPM, the Royal Porcelain Factory in, in Berlin, and a delightful one by Ernst Wallis of the Royal Vienna Porcelain Manufacturer. By far the most prevalent, fascinating and indeed curious spill vases were produced by the many potteries in the Staffordshire Pottery District in the West Midlands of England. They seem to follow a similar form of a hollow vase-like receptacle embellished with all manner of varied and interesting additional decoration, figurative or animal-based in conception and often telling a story. They were almost without exception made in earthenware clays, hand modeled or molded, and glazed in a variety of manners some were tin glazed with an on-glazed decoration. Some were under-glazed painted and glazed in a clear lead glaze. And some were glazed in majolica. And that refers to the decoration of the pottery using coloured glazes. Here are some more delightful examples of these unusual ceramic works of art, which provided a useful and comforting addition to every 19th century household.
Thank you for watching this video.